Hi, I'm Alexander Jasper J. That's Speckles. He's a little weird. I'm trans, and today I'm gonna be reacting to what lesbians think a trans guy is, aka Max from The L Word. So Max was actually one of the first trans guys on TV, and he was my first exposure to trans guys. When I was a baby tran, a wee little lad, and I did not know what a tran was, Max was there. My wrist just cracked. I don't know if y'all heard that. Probably not. So we're just gonna jump right in. We're starting with season three because season three is the season where Max joins the cast. Heavy disclaimer, this show is from the early 2000s and so it's offensive as f There will be a full list of content warnings down in the description below. If you would like something added to the list, please leave it down in the comments below and I will do my best to add that to the list as soon as I possibly can. Other than that, if you want to comment and you don't have a suggestion for the content warning list, who was your first trans guy and what impact they have on your life? All right, so let's just dive on in. Uh, so yeah, it's like this. It's happening. These flashback scenes are actually great and in my opinion, some of the best composed parts of the show itself. Um, really, it's just, it ties in beautifully, but uh, it's kind of like playing a game of Spot the Gay, which, if you aren't familiar, it's like Where's Waldo, but using only the cover page. She's never had an orgasm before, and, uh, she's gonna help her. I really shouldn't have been watching this at 13. It is essentially just softcore porn. So this is Jenny. We don't like her, but, uh, her mother's worse. So during season two, Jenny was self-harming, and for that reason, she is currently in the Midwest living with her parents, but she actually lives out in LA. Honestly, I just find this incredibly ironic because like, in order to escape her parents constantly trying to set her up with men, Jenny runs off to a bar where she is planning to run off back to LA with a man. She just doesn't know it yet. Again, it's, it's like softcore porn. I'm not joking when I say that. I have to censor this. Jan? Of course they got caught. They were being loud. Like, if you're trying not to get caught, you don't moan like that. Like... You, how dare you bring a man back into this house! Honestly, other than serving as exposition so that the audience knows that to other characters in the show, he is perceived as a man, it, it doesn't serve a purpose. We already know that they are going to LA. They didn't need to be kicked out of the house. So here we get a little touch of foreshadowing in order to give us the sense that uh, Max gets a lot of, a lot of shit from people. Uh, they need to make it abundantly clear. So uh, if, in case you were confused. I get a lot of shit from people. Oh God, so sorry. I'm such a gross bisexual web addict right now. <laughs> Same, oh my god. I kind of love how awkward this show is, and I love all the puns that come with it. So this happens. Oh, fuck. And this happens. <laughs> ran out of gas. Oh, no. And then oh my god. this happens. You... Exhibition with kind strangers. Oh, hey there, fella. Oh, hey. she's not a... Looks like you need some help. Exhibition from not-so-kind strangers. What the hell are you doing in here, boy? Can't you read this the ladies' room? Honestly, this part is hard to watch. They should have just left. But of course, Jenny antagonized them because she's Jenny and that's just what she freaking does. What did you say? I'm glad she had the sense to grab the taser and point it at Chuck Bass so that uh, he would let Max go. But uh, you don't shoot a man in a bag. Like that just went from self-defense to assault real fast. The back is a no-no zone. Oh no. It's like a typical small town gay bar. <laughs> it's an oxymoron. <laughs> Sorry if the frame shifted, my cat decided that my tripod was his new toy. I tried my best to get it back, but uh, it happens. They're not in a relationship, but they are at the bar together. So what Max is doing here is a dick move, but I hate Jenny, so I'm secretly happy about it. What do you mean? What do I want? The pacing on that is just, what do you mean? What do I want? They're both just the most manipulative people. Like, I wouldn't want to be friends with either of them. I wouldn't want to date either of them. I wouldn't want to cross either of them on the street. Like, stay away from me with that. <laughs> really? With this? Really? 
Like, there's just so much exposition. Like, the pink and blue sleeping bags. How? And who is that? Jenny lives with these people. She did not tell them that she was bringing somebody across the country to live with them. So you see this dog? Okay. Okay, good. We love this dog. This dog just pissed on Jenny. Why do you pee on people? So Max does this thing with Shane where he treats her like a guy. It's pretty weird and honestly, friends and enemies, that is what we call projecting. Yeah, we brought you a present from Legenta, Colorado. So. Oh my god, please don't eat that. No. No, no, no. Oh my god, no. Oh, fuck. You don't have to put a lid on the pot when you cook female lobsters. Does anybody know why? When Max is feeling dysphoric, he craves attention. Like, in a really weird way. Because once they realize they're in a pot of boiling water, they all just start grabbing each other and they're like holding each other down. A really freaking weird way. If I'm gonna die, everyone's gonna die. This is a dinner for Jenny. Max does this shit and then just leaves when people think it's weird because, well, it's fucking weird. <laughs> That's not dinner conversation. Sorry. Not sorry. I'm sorry I'm not sorry. I don't know. Like, I got dysphoria, but that was a lot. Then again, I also have a lot of emotion. Gay. Max is so gay. G-A-Y, gay. Capital G-A-Y, gay. He is the gayest gay to ever gay. Some people have uh, changed their bodies to match up to their brains. And a few have changed their brains to match up to their bodies. I'm not really sure I know what you're talking about. Don't lie to yourself. You know exactly what he's talking about. I love that shirt. Moira, do you go by any other name? Well, not really. She sometimes goes by Max. Don't out people. Just don't, don't do it. Say hello to Tom, Cynthia, and of course, the lovely Ginger Vitus. I love her. I'm a sword swallower. I have a very, very deep throat. <laughs> so this is Max's first trans guy, and like, as a 13-year-old, he always gave me weird vibes. As an adult, he still gives me weird vibes. Don't know why. Just, just the thing. What's top surgery? A bilateral mastectomy, you know, similar to what a cancer patient would undergo. Except that the nipples are reattached and the chest is reconstructed. Alan Cumming is portrayed as some magical being on the show, like he just knows what's up with everything, but don't do this. Don't out somebody at a party. It's just not cool, my dude. Don't put pressure on somebody to feel like they need to come out on a party. It, don't make, like, don't create an aggressively safe space. I don't know if, if what I'm saying is coming across correctly, but there are spaces where you go where it's just like people force you to be open and they're like, oh, it's safe. You can feel comfortable with us. Don't do that. That's just weird. Makes it feel unsafe real fast. Where'd you get that suit? Seriously though, where did she get that suit and why does it fit Max perfectly? I know, she looks like a hot guy. <laughs> I like it. Like, damn. You're kind of neither fish nor fowl, Moira, if you know what I mean. And I'm not saying that we would discriminate against you because that is one thing that we don't do here at In Tech Mode. Kind of seems exactly what you're doing there at In Tech Mode, but okay. So where I am, this is incredibly illegal. And if you ever encounter anything like this in a job interview, I encourage you to look up the laws in your area. And uh, if at all possible, gut them. If you would like some help finding some proper binding materials, unlike the ones displayed in this scene, links will be down in the description below. Are you doing hormones? No. Not yet. I've been thinking about it. You don't have to wait, Max. I can hook you up. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. This is, this is a little tricky because there are people who do not have access to testosterone. Max is in LA, that is not the case. If he was patient, he would get testosterone. There is no if, if, ands, or buts about it. He would have gotten testosterone. He chose to go through the black market and without doctor's assistance. Um, that's fucked up. Don't be like Max. So far, everything Max is doing for his transition is a how not to. You want to know how Max can fully become Max? Okay, Max is already Max, but uh, 
get that dick daddy. Why did I say that? Oh my god, I have to censor it, but the look on Alan Cumming's face in this scene is priceless. <laughs> There's literally a silicone dick in his mouth. I had to censor it, I'm sorry. Honestly, in this scene, Jenny just gives me demon lady vibes. Like, she is so evil. How fast did she do that shot? I know it's called a shot, but you do not need to do it at bullet speed. I wanna give you all your doses because I'm excited about what we're doing. It's what I'm doing. I'm the one who's doing this, Jenny. I know that you are. And we're gonna do it together. Is she seriously making his transition about her? Like, seriously? I'm done. I can't. I'm done. Nope. We're done for today. This is part one. This is all I can tolerate for right now. Uh, I think we're pretty good. We've gotten through a, a pretty big chunk of it. I think I like half of the footage I got, so I can split it up into two parts there. Um, I'm kind of excited, honestly. I want to make this a series, so if you have any suggestions of characters that you would like me to kind of react to or critique or whatever, leave that down in the comment section. I will look at that. I read all of the comments. Uh, it's just what I do. Anyway, links to my Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter will be down below. As you know, Instagram is my most used social media, so Make sure you go follow me over there if you want to be the most up-to-date on everything going on in my life. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out, Scout people. I shall see you soon. Bye!